now that you've finished your assignment, you're going to go ahead and start on the project on your own. So that's how this school year is going to go. I'm going to walk you through some new things, and then you will actually do a project on your own using the skills that I just showed you. So I'm just going to get you set up in Unity to start your new project, and that project will be completely on your own. So we finished its raining shapes, but now I want to create another project. So click back on my assets folder, and I can either right click in here or click here. I'm going to do folder. And this one is called Cannonball. So I'll double click on Cannonball, and then I'll go create folder. And I'm going to call this assets inside of assets. I'm going to create folder. I'm going to do my underscore scenes. And then inside of here, what I will create is a new scene. And I'll call it Canon Ball. And lastly, I'll double click on that and I'll click. And now you have your Cannonball project. So down here you have your It's Raining Shapes that you've completed. And here you actually have your Cannonball project. So with that, you want to go ahead and build out everything you need on this project. Again, what you are looking for is this. Some hints on it. You want to kind of set up a plan. Look at how many stacks do I have? One, two, three, four. Also, what you look at is how many cubes are in here. Also, you want to go back and look at how you do um, edge snapping between cubes. You can see this. These are very long. Um, the yellow, the pink, the blue are very long. But all these white ones are small cubes. And you have your spear. So good luck on that. Again, what you're going to try to do is create this on your own. Use students around you. Um, your neighbor might say, oh, I know how to do this part. Well, you might know how to do another part. That's what computer science is all about. That's what learning is all about, is figuring out a problem and figuring out how to address it. So again, you can go back through the Unity IQ Classroom um, and read up some of those tips there. You also can go back through my Gantech videos that show you all the things that we did in this section and that should help you. Once you're done, remember you're going to add your name in it somewhere in your project. You'll record a video of your project and then you'll go ahead and add it to your portfolio page. Good luck on your project.